Let the church oh, say amen Bless the street with the music, I love my fans I don't read the Bible, people say my Two World family back here with another video uh, Today's video is going to be a little bit different It's not going to be a daily vlog today It's going to be a hair tutorial today uh, I'm going to be showing y'all, giving y'all advice about going, growing dreads and how to maintain and how to get them locked quicker. But if you're new, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share the video. My social media is going to be in the description down below. And let's get into it, okay? I'm going to show y'all mine first, okay? See, um, I've been growing my dreads for almost a year, year now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put a picture in the, uh, in the video to show y'all when I, when I first started. But I had a tremendous growth on how I got my dreads and stuff like that. When I, when I first started trying to grow dreads, I was, I was so impatient, so impatient. Um, but I just kept, I kept restart, kept cutting my hair because I was getting impatient about it. My hair not, my dress not growing and stuff like that. So my senior year of high school, that's when I started getting my dress. With the last ending of my senior year, yeah. At the end of my uh, senior year, that's when I started growing my dress. And I, I went through the, uh, you're going to go through an ugly phase for sure, because I went through it. Well, I'm not ugly right now, you know. But um, I went through an ugly phase. Everybody going to go through it if you're trying to grow dress and stuff like that. But the first the first key you have to um, do is just be patient, because if you try to rush and do all this, you your dress not going to grow. So the first thing you got to do is be patient with it. Cause it's gonna take some time. You're gonna be like, "Oh my goodness, bro! Why they not? Why they not locking? Why not? Why they not doing this? Why they not doing that?" You're gonna have all them questions in your head. You're gonna be like, "Man, forget! It. I'm just gonna cut it off." So that's what I was doing. But if you just stay patient and focus with it, and just let the dress do what they do, they're gonna lock. So the second step to doing dread, getting dreads, you have to um. You can either get a crochet needle or you can use sea salt water. But you have to get the artificial sea salt water. Sea salt, I mean, <laughs> crazy. But you have to get sea salt. And, or if you go to a beach around that has sea salt, that's, it's salt, it's salt water, it can help cloud up your dredge or and lock them up quicker you're gonna you're gonna see a difference in your dreads and how they how they uh lock see some of my dreads i they kind they like different i, I could say but i had did i had did so much for my dress to lock i start I, at first i was putting in a lot of different products in my head just to try to get them to lock but it would not help I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And it still wouldn't work. So I was like, man, forget it. I'm just going to try to let them do what they do. Then I, I was doing research on how I was watching videos and stuff like that, how to get them to lock. But yeah, um, dreads, it's, it's a process. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a tool that I use and how I got mine to lock. Well, I probably can't do it right now. To curl. I can try to do it, but I kind of show y'all. So, okay, hold on. Small. So, you want you want to try to get a crochet needle that's very small to go through. Well, my my hair not wet right now, but I, I can show y'all a little bit. But you want to go from the from the bottom to the root and pull you can hear it see some my dress are already locked so it's going to be kind of hard to do it and stuff like that but you don't want to 
you don't want to come this way because you could pull your hair from your root and that's bad but yeah or if you go to a beach and you, and you get into the water and the salty the salt water it can help it helps it it do a lot better for your dress to lock and grow see it's i started my dress in 2020 yeah my last year my senior year that's when i started and i just my my hair it grows fast so my hair was very like short but then i just kept doing stuff with it and it just finally grew and it's to this length but it's, it's all on how you want to do your dress how, how you want your dress and what style you want it see the stop the style that i normally do with my dreads if i don't get them redone i'll put them i either have them back like this or if i'm getting a haircut or something like that uh i'll put it up right here see you probably can't you probably can't see but i'll probably put it up here don't don't laugh at me my my i had got a haircut uh last sunday yeah last sunday and my <laughs> my hair growing back so yeah i normally put my um hair like this or i just leave it down i just leave it down and just pull it to the back but yeah dread dress uh they are sometimes stressful but if you be patient yeah, you'll get the results you want see some of my dreads they kind of messed up a little bit because on how I, how I did mine um I still like you the thing about dreads you you are going to get down to you are it is you when you start off you think like I ain't going to get down to I ain't going to get down to yes you are you are going to get down to I, I, I got a well I ain't got a lot in my scalp but like inside your dread you going to have a lot of build up and dandruff and stuff like that that's going to be in there until when whenever you get them cut or comb them up you going to have a whole bunch of dandruff see me I and the other thing too when you get dreads and they get like a little bit to like right here um wash wash them well like when you first just getting dreads uh but weeks i say by a couple weeks or a month like three months after you got your dress do not wash your hair because if you wash them your hair, your dress will come undone and you'll have an afro like this <laughs> under your dress well I, I don't have afro but i just got new growth but you have a you have an afro again you um don't wash your hair for three months when like the third month come up then you can wash them and then get them redone but like them three months don't uh don't get them washed because they they will come undone uh what else but but yeah that's basically that's basically it um uh what else about that That's that's, that's kind of it, but you you just gotta be patient, and if you really want dreads, you you just be patient and wait for them to lock and stuff like that. But the crochet needle, it it can it can help very well. It helps lock it up quickly, like quickly, like before my dreads got to this length. Before I even before I, they even locked. I had, I did the salt water and the crochet needle. First, I did the salt water. Wait, no. <laughs> I did the crochet needle, then I did the salt water. But after that, I just started using the crochet needle because it it was easier. So, like, I did like mostly all these right here, but like sometimes some in the back I really didn't do. The salt water actually did that. It just locked them up on their own. 
But yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want any more tutorials or um, videos on on dreads, just leave it in the comments. Um, like the video, share the video, comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Coming out with more videos and more videos. Trying to trying to go trying to grind to get more subscribers, but if I can get to a, if y'all can help me get to a hundred k a hundred a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna send some money to a fan or somebody. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned for for more videos. To the king, tell me the man. Sleeping on the couch with turkey when I first began. I pray to 